What's up guys, Shane here from Figure 3D Printing and today I'm checking out some wood filament from filaments.ca. Welcome back guys. So I have a bunch of filament from filaments.ca. They sent me a giant box full of it and today we're going to take a look at their wood PLA. Uh, their box is the same for every one of their filaments. It has their name on it. Lots of different info on it here. Uh, it's just nice and plain here on the side. It tells the color is natural because it's wood filament. Uh, 1.75 millimeters is kilogram. The nozzle between 200 and 250. I think that's a little hot. And the bed they want 90 to 100 C. Also pretty hot for a wood filament. Most wood filament is PLA based. This almost seems like it's PETG based maybe. I don't know, it's weird. So here, once we get into the spool, they have these awesome clear spools, which are really great. They have the sticker on the back here of everything that's on the side, same sticker. And it tells you right here a rough estimate in the measurement of how much filament you have left. So this one goes 55, 146, and 228 meters. That is quite a bit of filament, 228 meters. And yeah, it's got a really good uh, seal on it and a nice big silica pack in there. Right, once we get it open, they do have a saran wrap on the filament as well, and I can already smell it. Printing wood filament, if you have not seen any of my videos before, is amazing. And just to, just to smell it, it's like you're burning wood, you know, like a fire, but without like the smoky smell. It is truly awesome. All right. Yeah, definitely has a smell to it. It's a bit of a texture to it. It looks pretty plasticky. Uh, not quite as much as like the Robo did before, but it's definitely not like Hatchbox or the uh, Primeline wood. Very different. So it does have definitely a texture to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to printing with this. A friend of mine wants a Groot. So I think we'll print out a little baby Groot for him to give that a go. And then we'll print out a bunch of other little stuff. So let's get this on the printers and I'll be right back. And just like that, we have prints. And yes, everything looks a little bit different because my lights came in. So things are looking much brighter. I hope this is a little more crisp. Audio still needs to be worked on, but hey, we have a little bit better lighting. So I, again, I hope this looks good. Anyways, to the prints, this came out so much better. It's still a little bit wispy. You know, there's, I definitely need to take like a piece of sandpaper and just knock all that off. This is not a print and go filament. At least it isn't for me. I've seen other people's pictures online and they look really good. I'm doing something a little bit wrong temperatures all the way down to 180. I did not want to go any lower than that because I was afraid it was going to clog and jam and whatnot on the monoprice and I was really afraid to screw up that nozzle. But supports, actually over supports, this thing behaves super duper well. I'm very impressed with how it did, here, especially here on my coin. This one's actually a little bit tight to get off on some of these ones. But looking at some of the other ones that I had done, the support, when it came off, just underneath, it almost looks like there wasn't like even a need. There technically isn't. This can bridge. You can bridge this model. But I print the support just to have the action, like the reaction of how does this filament stand over support? You know, how is it going to look? How well does the, the support adhere to it? How well does the support come off of it? I can say it does extremely well and I am very pleased with that, that last little piece off there. But again, I was a little bit zitty. Uh, I did make some changes after this in retraction. I made retractions a little bit longer and a little bit faster because, so because wood filament has a low melting point, it wants to string a lot and that's why it's to print at such a low temperature. But even when you're retracting, uh, just because you're pulling it up, it's still slowly working its way down because of, you know, gravity. So you really need to kind of speed up the retractions, make them a little bit longer, you'll get better results. So after that, we just, I decided to do some Groots. Um, again, I had only done one of these before and two very different results. This one actually did finish on the GTEC A10. Don't know why, but it did, because uh, I couldn't get the coins to finish for the life of me. But as you can see here, very, very stringy, not very great there. This one was on the Monoprice. It was a little stringy, uh, very few kind of under the arms that I couldn't quite knock off here. But other than that, it was just some actually retraction dimples, you know, little pimples on it that I needed. And the heads on both of them actually came out quite amazingly. Like it actually came out really well. These are, I mean, these are no support models, just throw it on the bed and let it go. I think this is 50% scale because the Monoprice i3 has a very small build volume. So that's why I had to do that. 
Then I decided to switch up a little bit. Had to try vase. This is a twist heart vase. It absolutely looks amazing. The settings on this were just perfect. You can barely see any layer lines, which is a cool thing about some of the exotic filaments, wood filament, uh, carbon fiber filament. It's really hard to see the layers. No wisping of any sorts on this. Super duper nice. You know, again, it's wood PLA. It's not very sturdy, so I'm kind of afraid to kind of break this just because I really do like this vase. And then I had tried some other vases here. Uh, this one was a giant fail on the GTEC A10. And this was because I was actually having an issue with my thermistor when that kind of broke. So I just wanted to show kind of how it's, you know, it started out really, really nice and all of a sudden it just kind of, I don't have that one, but I'm gonna look at that anymore. Uh, then I printed this one on the GTEC A10 and this did come out much better, but inside, super duper stringy. Uh, lots of strings in there. I don't know why it's that way at all because there's no retractions. It's, it's vase mode. It should just be going around. But I'm guessing with the fan blowing so hard on it, it does make it a little bit hairy. And the ones here on the outside, if you just run your hand on it, it pretty much takes those off on the outside. Inside, different story. Those are a little bit also kind of also hard to reach, but they're on a little bit, a little more attached better. But again, super duper smooth walls on this. I mean, the printers came out really, really well. This is my favorite, this bowl, this wood bowl here. Um, it just, it looks super cool and it printed very well. This was printed on the, um, this was also on the Modern Price one. This was like max build volume for that thing because it's only 130 by 120 by 100. So almost max build volume for this. Again, very nice and slow. It just looked great. I actually did this in another film I'm testing because it just was an awesome looking thing. This would be a nice little candy dish bowl, you know? I got a couple other things here. Uh, this one was trying to check out the retractions between the W and the D. I know that this uh, does tend to have a lot of uh, strings on it when it goes across these two, especially in wood filaments. So it's kind of a nice test. I was able to get most of it gone. There's just a little bit in there again, a little bit of pimpling going on in there. A simple little cog vase, which the model was actually pretty bad. So it did not print very well at all. And just because of how well a lot of these others printed and just how this did, this model uh, was goofy. I tried printing it in another filament, in that clear filament I'm testing, and there's some artifacts and stuff going on. So that's not, again, another one we're gonna talk about. Um, I did the owl just because, you know, why not? He's got the, uh, his feathers on his chest here, and you can really see how well a filament will cool, how fast it will cool, how much it droops down at the very tips of those feathers. And this did droop a little bit at the bottom, but it got much better at the top as the chest rounds over and gets a little bit of an easier angle on there. And then I found these last minute, uh, also horrible models. I tried printing all three of them in a row on the i3 Mini, and it did not go well. They also had way too thin of walls and they were just bad models. I might try and repair them. Uh, I did print them smaller though, but I might try and repair them and see if I can't do a better job with either this wood filament and printing them one at a time or with a different wood filament that I have coming in that I think will do well. But yeah, these were, again, a little pimply because going all three of them together, retractions is tough on this filament. So, but the overall results, the feel, the smell even after printing, I really, this really does feel sandable to me. I don't have anything to sand it or stain it right now. Um, I, I do really want to do some kind of those videos in the future, but it does look really well, but it was very hard for me to get dialed in. So I do have to knock some points off for that. Overall, if you're in America, it's probably not worth buying this for the cost and shipping and things like that. I think it's only free shipping over so much money. I forget what the deal is on their website, but in America, it might not be the best. If you're in Canada, this is probably the best you're gonna get because getting Amazon filaments over there might be tough. Uh, there are a few others that are a little bit better, but again, once this was dialed in, results are pretty nice, but not perfect. So it's kind of like an in the middle there type of deal. Um, if you guys have printed with this before and you have some tips for me on printing it, please leave me some comments down below and I would love, I still have about half a roll left. I printed all of these things, I had lots of fails. So I, I was printing quite a bit with it, but I wanted to just stop at a you know good, you know almost dozen models here and go ahead and leave the rest of this to do some more testing or to print some other projects in. So if you guys have any tips on printing with exactly this filaments.ca wood filament, let me know. Um, I have tested lots of wood filaments before in the past, so I think I'm 
pretty dialed in how they should go, but this one again was a little tricky for me. And that's gonna be it, guys. So this filament was sent to me by filaments.ca for the purpose of this review. No money was exchanged. They sent me several rolls to test out on my channel just to produce some videos. I thank them for the opportunity to let me try out their filament. If you guys wanna try it out, There'll be a link down below to their website. It's not affiliate link, anything like that. So go ahead down there if you want to purchase it and nothing comes to me, but you're watching the video. So that helps out a little bit. So thanks for watching the video guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below either way. I want to hear from you guys. Again, if you have any tips on exactly this filament, please let me know down below. If you guys want to stay tuned what's going on, become a subscriber. There's a big button down there that says subscribe and there's a little bell icon that pops up. Hit that. You get an email notification anytime I upload new content, do live streams, things like that. And that way you're part of Notification Squad and you're one of the first ones to know when I upload new content. If you guys want to support me and become one of the patrons and get access to my after show, go ahead and click the link below me. That's a Patreon link. Donate me a dollar or more to get access to my Patreon feed and to the after show. I appreciate every one of you that's already current at Patreon and a dollar goes a long way. So thank you guys so much for donating to me. And then if you guys want to just do a one-time deal, there's some links down there. Or if you guys just want to need some affiliate links, look down below. Lots of links down there. Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Banggood, all kinds of different ones. Check those out. If you bookmark those and any purchases you make with that, little percentage comes back here to me. Helps me do things like buy lights for my studio here. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, happy printing.